Today we're checking out Stacklands. This is a colony management survival card game. It's extremely satisfying with an outstandingly original mechanic, and it's only $5. Actually, $4.99 to be exact. Uh, but the only real similar game that comes to mind, and I know this is an overwhelming number of cards, but this is like an in-progress game. We're gonna start from the beginning. Uh, right now I'm at the end of a moon, so they're just feeding the villagers with the fruit salads I've collected. Very cool stuff going on here, though. I'll explain a little bit, but I think we're just going to let this playthrough die. I've got to sell a bunch of cards. I'm just going to be kind of, um, random with these right now. Really not very smart. But we're going to let this save file die, because this is like an in-progress game. So I want you to have some idea of what to expect. Uh, I won't even pause, we'll just let this village die as I kind of give my intro. And then we'll, we'll maybe do one or two playthroughs. But, um, yeah, anyway, the only thing that really is similar that comes to mind is Cultist Simulator and maybe Doodle God, the app where you combine the elements to create inventions and lightning and stuff like that. Start with the four elements. This game is very much like that. You start off with a villager and, like, some rocks and some stones and some wood and some trees, and then you work on them by placing villagers on them. And pretty much, uh, like, they, it's a real-time card game. So, just a very unique genre. Nothing, nothing really similar other than those comes to mind. But yeah, anyway, this is by Sock Pop Collective, which is four guys from the Netherlands, I believe. Uh, and they've released many games, but they seem to be very young devs with a lot of energy and chutzpah. Like, they released, I think it was monthly games, if I'm not mistaken. Just a very interesting concept for a game studio to iterate that often. But pretty much, we're going to keep placing around our villages. I'm just going to let this village die out. Um... But yeah, the primary mechanic kind of reminds me of a real-time version of the board game Agricola. Uh, and I, overall, I know that this game is from April 2022, but I'm, I've been going back since the Steam Winter Sale just on a few roguelikes and other interesting games that I missed out on this year, so that's where we're playing it now. Uh, we're placing cards under resources to work on them. I think I already said that. Yeah, we earn money, and then we can use that to... I'm just going to show this really quick. We can buy packs, three gold for one of these, or we could put you know, um, 10 toward a different type of pack that gives us different resources. Now we're going to open up Curious Cuisine, so there we go. This gives us ideas of new recipes, and then we can start to stack our food and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to sell... Are we at Moon 13? I'm just going to pause the game so that everyone dies, because this is really an overwhelming number of cards to have. Uh, well, we'll see what happens when everyone starts. You can even have babies and stuff like that. But yeah, the whole idea is that you start from humble beginnings, and... What What is more exciting than starting something from seed, you know? I believe almost everyone will die. Oh no, I unfortunately had too much food. Although the moons are coming faster and faster, so let me just sell everything now. Okay, let's sell my lumber camp. This is going to be horribly against my better judgment. I really shouldn't do this. Can I sell the villagers themselves? Nope. Well, we'll just sell all of their food so that everyone dies at the end of this moon. And we will speed up time there we go but yeah the game seems to kind of speed up as time goes on and there's more resources to manage it's just kind of like ultimate solitaire um but yeah pretty much the goal of the game is to build these like infinite resource generators like you can create tons of villagers Ooh, i'm stacking my villagers i can create an army of them but then there's also conflict like, they're going to need to do some fighting. We can even do some dungeon delving. There's not enough food, so everyone's going to die. And that's why it's a survival card game. So very exciting. Um, we might get to some of the dungeon delving, but I think we're definitely going to fail in some way. And yeah, anyway, so that's game over. Reach Moon 15, but we unlocked more cards. And it is sort of roguelike in that way, in that you learn more each time you play through the game. Uh, we are streaming this, and I, I'm suffering from short-term memory loss. Did I mention I'm, I'm basically just getting over a cold? Um, yeah, I was very sick, but I've really wanted to stream again. We're going to keep moon length times at normal. <clears throat> Excuse me, I will be hydrating a lot throughout this. Peaceful mode? No, we won't be doing peaceful mode because this game is peaceful enough, but I will probably do a lot of thinking. This is a game that I definitely think is worth giving a shot to. Um, so here we start at the very beginning. Excuse me, I'm just gonna grab some water here. Uh, nothing cozier than a sick AA stream. I was sick for like five days. I really was dying to stream, though. Um, but don't, fear not, actually it was quite bad. The worst of it is over now. Although now it comes to mind that I don't In sound very good at all. Now. 
Uh, modern Toad. Hey, Modern Totem. Hey, thank you very much for the sub. How are you, my friend? Uh, that's so... No, you're, you're, you're much, you're much older than that. You're much older than, oh wait, in the, in the hours in the game? Yeah, I would definitely, this is kind of a play along game. We definitely won't do this for more than maybe one stream, but pretty much what we're doing here is this. We want to keep organized. So this is our board. And like I said, if you've ever played the board game Agricola, very exciting game and I recommend it. It was by Uwe Rosenberg, I believe is his name in German, um, which is a good a good name, Uwe. I just not very common to hear that in the U.S. Pardon my lack of culturedness. Anyway, so we are going to need, we are going to need uh, two berries to feed our villagers, and pretty much the game takes place in these cycles. So we want to be, you know, cognizant of time here. I don't need three berries for this. I would rather just get another humble beginnings pack. I can get my villager to work on. He can't do anything to the stone, but he could work on the wood. Um, we have quests that kind of hold your hand like a tutorial through the beginning of the game, but this game is pretty self-explanatory. I don't know how to build everything, but I know most of the basics, and part of the fun is discovery, so I've got about an hour in the game. Anyway, I, I wanted to discover it with you, but we're going to stack up these coins and we'll play the Humble Beginnings, and now, oh, very exciting, we have a Humble Beginnings booster pack. And let me tell you that there's nothing more exciting than opening a virtual booster pack of something. This is kind of like Magic the Gathering Arena, except for the fact that I'm addicted to Magic the Gathering Arena. And I'm trying to overcome my addiction, so I've been overcoming it with these, like, very harmless indie games. Which will not cause me to go on to a competitive game binge. But they are still quite, uh, just about as much fun. I thought we would lose the fight to that rabbit. There does seem to be some randomness in place here, but that's also very exciting because you wouldn't want it to just be like pure solitaire. It keeps the game interesting and a little bit more, uh, I suppose, replayable here. Now, we don't seem to have gotten any meat from that, but we got poop from the rabbit. Um, you know, there are some enemies. I'm not sure if it's just food to eat, but I have seen like dungeon encounters. My fear is that people like thieves will come onto our board and start stealing our food. And if it's not a mechanic in the game already that I've gotten up to, then it should be. I'm pretty sure that there's no work that we can do on foo on poop, though. Okay, now we've got ourselves fed for two moons. So we're only on moon one here, so don't get too far ahead of yourself. Maybe don't even work on this. Let's work on the tree instead. Now, we can't do any work onto the stone. <clears throat> Excuse me. The poop will leave there. Okay, so we've got the little dinner bell. It's time to eat. Everyone, come in for your leg of lamb. What was that? Angela's ashes. There we are. Everyone is fed. Good. So, uh, it's pretty simple right here. We don't have any babies. Um, so we can just start the new moon. And this is kind of like a cycle in Agricola. I don't know. Again, a, a great board game that you should definitely try. Now, the temptation to pause and give myself infinite time is quite high. We'll do that later on. But I, I think it's simple enough that we could just do this. Now, the stick is somewhat useful. I do have some of these recipes memorized and from game to game these do like i'm gonna go ahead and just let's not work on the berry bush let's work on the wood if i work on the wood i will get a stick but i actually do want to keep my wood so let's leave that wood there um i may need this stick as well nothing with poop comes to mind but poop is somewhat rare and i want to get this show on the road so let's go ahead and put our money into humble beginnings packs. Seeking wisdom may be a little bit better, but I already have most of the ideas. I know how to get offspring, but we're gonna need another villager. Um, okay, so this is interesting. We have soil now. We're going to get another berry bush. So not only can, it, can we have villagers working on things, but if we plant a berry into the soil, then we get back a berry bush, which is what comes out of soil. And we also get back the soil so that we could replant something into the soil. And that is like, I don't know, it just feels like a grand investment. It's sort of like getting immediate gratification for planting a garden to play this game. And there's just something very, very satisfying about that. I don't think I need three of these at once. So let's just do that. Let's get another humble beginnings pack. Now we could go on to Seeking Wisdom, see, Weep and Sow, but, or Reap and Sow. But we've got... I'm trying to figure out how we get another villager in one of these packs, because I have gotten villagers out of these packs, although it doesn't show me villager as one of those things on the bottom left that I could get out of the pack. 
So I don't remember whether it was the humble beginnings or seeking wisdom, but we'll just keep buying a lot of things as we go on. He's going to have quite a lot to do ahead of him anyway. Okay, so now I believe that we can make a quarry. Isn't this the next thing we can do? Yes, so if we pile up, and now this is a recipe, one I have discovered from the Seeking Wisdom pack, it kind of has that same feel of Minecraft when you're discovering all of the patterns and recipes for like a sword or a pickaxe or something like that. And um, where is it here? Quarry. Okay, so a quarry is composed of, take out your notepad, uh, three stone, one wood, and a villager. And when I create this quarry, I no longer have to buy packs to get these things. Because what happens if I run out of these resources? I just need to keep buying them? Well, I can create infinite resource generators, which is, of course, very exciting. Irish pirate and, uh, ad hey, it's Baru. What's up, Baru? Wait, is Baru uh, actually here in chat? Or is that like a Baru impersonator? How are you, Baru? Is this one of your, um... You were doing Risk of Rain a while back, weren't you? Uh, either way, I don't know. It seems like it would be up your alley, something very enjoyable. Now if we put the guy onto the quarry, then he makes rocks and rocks and rocks. And this is very nice. So now we pretty much have a source of money. Has Baru done Stacklands? Yes, everyone, it's the, it's the famous panda guy in chat. Hmm, hang on a second. Here we go. So we're gonna feed the, the boys. There we go. Well, we don't really know if it's a boy, and I gotta, I gotta put that right out, up out front, because the villager is, um, well, we can just put two villagers into a house later on, and then they make a baby through a stork, of course. Well, no, there's not actually a stork in this game. That may be legitimately confusing for me to say it. But yeah, there's something about the animations that just feels very high production value here, and I'm liking that. Now, flint. I'm trying to... One stick and one flint. So that's going to create a campfire. Let's automate that process because then this is going to create a campfire, which we can then use to cook meat, which we might get off of, say, for example, a rabbit or something like that. This is nice. Also, to the kind of like lo-fi chill music is very relaxed. Here we go. Look, woot, it just woot, good sir, out Tilda. a berry bush. That's nice. Like, and that pop sound. There's something just so, like, juicy about this game. I don't know what it is. Man, the way I talk is disgusting. I sometimes feel. Now, unfortunately, we might not be able to get a villager right out here. My, my panic mode is beginning to turn on. Okay, there we go. Campfire. Maybe it wasn't even time for this, but we can just poop out more berries from the berry bush. That's nice. Hey, JX Chin, thank you very much for the sub. Do appreciate that. Okay, we've got two berries. Let's get another berry so that we can get more berry bushes growing because my goal in the future, my friend, is going to be to stack more berry bushes underneath the villager. Look, oh my gosh, wow, that's so nice. So now we can, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? We could get a lumber place, but instead I think we'll just sell these two. So I'm really not getting much use out of this poop. I see more poop in my future, so let's go ahead and put the coins into a pack. Come on, baby, give me a villager. No, maybe not. Okay, well, we'll start to get into the idea packs, and the trees are quite... The trees are quite valuable. I speak for the trees. Who is it that spoke for the tree? Who that spake for the trees? In mythology, there was somebody there. Now, I'm sure that there are better ways to play this game, but also to, like, um... I, I feel as though the, the joy... The beauty of life, uh, in the words of of Maximum Bob, is um, is in discovery, you know? So that that's why I insisted on playing this game for about an hour before I brought it on stream. Okay, so now we've got, what is it, three wood and one stone. So we do actually, actually, we have enough to create a lumberjack. I mean, a lumber mill. I mean, I would rather have more villagers out right now. Wait a second, we need to make... We do have enough food to feed ourselves for the moon. Oh, maybe it's the Lorax. Was it the Lorax? The, I mean, the Lorax <clears throat> who spoke for themselves? Or the Ents spoke for themselves, I suppose? Man, what if the Lorax met Treebeard? I, I get, like, such a wholesome vibe from this game as well, which is quite tantalizing. Now, the other fun of this game is just, it feels like playing a piece of graph paper 
I don't know what it is about it. You know, like, you get that vibe? I'm kind of digging this game's vibe. Oh, I forgot about this. This is my Gen Z terminology goal for the day. I'm trying to say that I dig this game's vibe. I dig this game's vibe. Yeah. Isn't that kind of a Gen Z, or is that just like a general cool guy thing to say? Okay, still no other villager, but you know, like we're, we're stacking berry bushes. That's a good sign. We've got stones here. We can have our villager work on these, and bada bam, look at all of the stuff. No, I have gotten villagers out of those, so don't worry. We just need to kind of keep waiting. We've also got, what is it? Food. We need two food there, so we've got one, but we don't want to unplant, or I guess uproot our berry would be a better way of saying it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very new. It kind of does give me a little bit of a new grounds feel. I mean, it's like, it looks kind of crayon, but you can tell that's because Sock Pop is just so good at what they do. No, that is the development studio at work here. Um, anyway, I think it sold a lot of copies. Like, just a very cool game. Very cool game. Kind of reminded me of the Vampire Survivors. Um, you know, we had a great time with Vampire Survivors last year. And what was Vampire Survivors? Like, $3? It was like a big sale playing that game. That was a great game. I think they've added a lot of content, too. Anyway, lumber camp. I mean, we'll get to work on these things later, but I want to kind of get more villagers to automate this whole process. Let's keep them there. Okay, some other things that we can get. Coin chest, I'm not really worried about yet. Maybe later on we'll work on that. Sticks are valuable, which will make these because that's pretty much just free gold. Do you, wait, that's funny. You don't work on those into sticks if I stack them? We're good. Stick, two coin. I don't really need a chest for you yet because I don't have so many of you, but I'm gonna keep things organized here. Ah, nice. Now, I, I know it's a little slow, and I know that you're faster than this. I know that you have very high IQ, but believe me, Yo. it will start to get crazy and out of hand in a little while. Um, we're not gonna save up because that's too expensive. We're just gonna keep using these packs because I've gotten villagers out of here before, so we should get one eventually. <laughs> please, God, send me a villager. Um, <laughs> please, please, Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. Uh, oh my gosh, it's like a gold rock. That's exciting. Okay, so we've got the berries. Everyone is fed, new moon. This is interesting. I didn't know that you could get this out of it. Now, why is it offering me to put a coin on the campfire? Is that... Like, could we heat up the coin? <laughs> what would that do? And let's get this camp... It keeps stacking the coins here when I do stuff. Let's do more humble beginnings, because I've gotten... I've gotten villagers out of these things. Ah, yes! Oh my gosh! Wait a minute. No, that was only one villager. I thought I had two. Yes. The babies will be made now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try to do is create a baby. Also, uh, Peekin Woof, thank you very much for the sub. How are you doing, Peekin Woof? Why did I say woof? I meant woof. So in order to create a baby, if your parents never told you, you need a house and two people. And if they don't have the house, they can't have a baby. So we need two won... I mean... Two <laughs> won and stood... S wood and stone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I can't say words. Uh, now, that's plenty of rocks. That's plenty of rocks. Now, it becomes dizzying and electrifying to organize your resources. So let's go ahead and keep our renewable areas over here. And then the bluish gray, we'll put those here. Uh, we'll keep the food on the right side. Good. So you're putting the food over there, where you, and it's automatically stacking them for me. And then we'll put the berry bushes here so that the berries get automatically stacked onto the berry things. Now, this is very nice, but also we need to keep the lumber camp next to the wood so that it'll automatically stack with that. Oh, what a fantastic way to organize these things I've decided upon. Wow. And then we'll put the campfire near the other food, and we'll put the cooked food down here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how smart I am. Wow. So, oh my gosh, it didn't actually do that, but that's close enough. 
Now we are going to need another berry, but we could plant that. And we're like managing the time flows here, and I personally find this very satisfying. Uh, the berries are unfortunately not going into there, so we'll put this here. I wonder if they like input output to the left or right. Oh, we do have enough for a house now though. Um, I guess after they finish this one little cycle of their resources. Okay, we're gonna get this and we're gonna get two wood and we'll get one stone. And as soon as you get more wood out of there, I'm gonna pop you onto the, whoops, I forgot that I'm gonna need to actually build the house before they, you know, have a baby in it. But the moons are going by in a slow and relaxing fashion. No, they can't have babies just out in public, out on the street. That would be illegal. At least I can't think of any... Maybe if you're in the middle of the ocean, it's legal, I suppose. I don't know, I haven't really tried that. Um, can you have a baby in international waters? Well, that's not for us to decide. But we do know that these two villagers are are getting some work done in here. Now, I don't believe that they'll be done making the baby before the feeding happens because the baby would require uh, uh, a food, a food, of course. There we go. So we are at our card limit now. So at the end of the moon, you know, you can't like, it's too big, it's too much. So we need to get rid of some of the cards. All right, so now here we go. Uh, we don't have enough food right away. So like, you know, it's becoming more, um, uh, difficult to manage, but at the same time, like, we're getting, we're moving more stuff, and we're gonna have a baby. Okay, so this is great. We've just pooped out two people from the house, and the baby is still in the house. This is my favorite thing about this game. Now, the baby is going to need 240 seconds in order to grow up, as most E, uh, babies need press E. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that you could press E to put things in order. That's very nice. Thank you very much, Treadwalking. The E button does, like, a graph paper thing. What did I tell you about graph paper? Anyway, we'll put you back in the berry bush to spend your time in there. And now at this point in time, I do kind of want to process some of these resources. And I'm going to pause just for a moment because, look, we've got a baby growing up and we've got to take care of it. Really, the next couple of things I want to think about are, um, we should probably start looking into better sources of food, and then we're gonna we're gonna want to make another house because we're gonna want more babies. Um, I don't believe that like there's any um, like bloodlines in this game, shall we say? So we could just keep having babies with the same. Pe Never mind what their relations are; they're just villagers. Okay, um, don't think too hard about it. Now, that being said, there's some important stuff we gotta make. Pretty much I want to focus on the food situation, but then we'll want to do things like arm up. We'll want to make some spears. So we might need uh, uh, two sticks and some wood. That would be a good thing to think about. So let's do what we're doing, you know, play conservatively. But we'll need five food, so you stay in the berry bushes and keep working. We've got the soil working on the berry. Or the berry working on the soil, whatever, whatever have you. Okay, good. So you're working on the wood. We're going to create a spear, and we're going to make one of our villagers into a militia person. Now we could also create another house. Actually, should we do that like immediately just to get another villager? Although that might become too many people to feed at once and I wanna make sure that I have one militia person. So, you know, we'll go slowly here. I'm sure we could be very, very aggressive in the early game, but we might also get hurt if we do that. Um, actually, I may regret this. You know what? Oh, I didn't mean to create a plank. Oh, is that f like the plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? <laughs> or maybe it's just a generally happy plank. It could very well be that. I mean, who's ever seen an angry plank? Uh, unfortunately, I did not mean to create that, but this shows how labyrinthine and amazing this game it truly is. Okay, other things I'm going to need to do. I'm going to need some wood back because I was actually going to create a house. But we'll just put those coins toward saving up for, uh... Should I just sell this plank? I mean, it is a strong building material. Maybe we'll leave it around. We'll need it at some other point, perhaps. But we'll leave it over here because it's a far off consideration. Actually, no, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Give me the coins. I'm going to get a reap and sow pack. Um, this is gonna be good for farms and stuff like that. Okay, but staying organized, staying organized. 
the lumber goes into the lumber mill. There we go. Stone and the quarry. Money and the power. Who's this kid, Ink? There we are. Um, yes. Okay, are we getting any close to the moon? The moon can sneak up on you. You better watch out for the moon. There we are. Um, okay, let's open this up. If we get more soil, that would be nice. No berry bushes, though. That's okay. Okay, and a carrot. How amazing. Uh, we will need to plant this into the ground. Wait, do we have logic and we have facts and logic for 15 coins? Oh, that was very funny of you to say that. That was very funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to make another house next, though. Because why not have multiple babies being raised? There we are. Of course a house is capable of... Just leave a baby in a house. Eventually it'll grow up. Of course, that'll be fine. We also have to limit the number of cards we've got. And I'm beginning to see that the cow... Look, the cow is moving of its own volition now. This is a sentient cow. Look at it go! How now, brown cow? I think we have enough to... We gotta fight this cow. It's seen enough of its life. We have to take it out. Hopefully it won't just kill the villager, which is possible. I wonder if I can get him out of this fight if it gets too hot. Oh, no. I was not able to slay the cow in time. Oh, we need to sell only one card. Okay, I suppose that we'll take out the stone then. Uh, I would not have had that man fight the cow if that were the case. Oh, apparently we can get him out of the fight, although he should win this. Okay, are, have we, we have created the second house. We'll allow... Oh, we can also put a second person into the fight as well, I forgot to mention. In case if it looks like he needs some backup. Now we'll save this poop down here. Leave the berries up there. We will keep working on those berry bushes. But let's put those two villagers in the house to, to uh, do their taxes. There we go. Just doing their taxes is all. Apparently a lot of you guys like to fall asleep. I, I mean, if so, then doubly so with this stream because my voice is, is deeper today. I don't think... Uh, hang on a second. I don't think that's healthy, guys. I think you should probably have, like, waves on in the background or something. That might be better. That might be better. Um, I find myself just mindlessly putting cards on things because it feels good. I'm just going to slow down for a second. Am I really making the right decisions here? Question to myself. Okay, we have the lumber. Uh, why don't we just generally get more stone and wood? That seems like a good thing to invest in. You know, the babies, we'll just let those... We don't want to be overwhelmed by the number of babies before we really have the farming infrastructure or what happened after the baby boom in the U.S. in real life will become of us. So let's, you know, play it safe here. Can I raise the card cap? There are ways to change the difficulty in the game, too. So, well, I mean, we're just playing on the generic here. There is... I guess the question mark here was, like... How much replayability does this game have? Which is why I didn't play tons of it. Because I don't know what all of the secrets are. But it, it does seem like a game where there is perhaps what you would call a meta in the end. I'm wasting a little bit of time here, though. Um, I think Reap and Sow is going to be our best bet here. So now what we need to go ahead and create is a garden. We're going to need one soil. Uh, I mean soil. Two stone, one wood, and one village. Oh, we've already got that. I guess after we get this berry out of the bush then we'll do that because berry bushes are great but this is more like gathering we need to move on to um <clears throat> agriculture guys so we're gonna need two stone two wood so this is why we've been saving all these things up and after you're done getting a little bit more wood then we can put this out there so you're working on a garden now the garden is amazing an incredible place you can create carrots out of it and that is exciting. Uh, did you know that you can just take a head of lettuce and cut off part of it? This is a real life trick. And you can just get another lettuce out of it. I'm growing lettuce out of all of my lettuce from now on. I, I'm not kidding you. I went out this morning and I bought a, a pot and some soil because I want to put the lettuce into it. And I want to grow it after dinner. So now, more th more loading bars that don't even require villagers. My satisfaction is immense, and I am spiritually fulfilled. Oh my gosh, I've never felt this good in years. The harvest is plentiful. I think plentiful. I'm just going to give up my whole career as a YouTuber and just spend my time playing this game and pretending that I have a real garden. 
in which I'm feeding people. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Oh, hang on a second. You know, I totally neglected something that was important. Everyone was fed, good. Also, an anadabadu. Thank you very much for the sub. Yes, the harvest is plentiful. Is it like Factory? I mean, there is some automation involved. It's such a beautiful smorgasbord of so many genres, this game, you know? Okay, so the baby is about to explode over here. Uh, and of course, by that, I mean grow up. Um, now, some of you guys were asking about raising card cap. Actually, I forgot that I neglected to say we can create a shed in which uh, storage activities take place. So we'll go ahead and, and we're just going to make sure we have stream. enough berries. We don't want to forget about this. Can't forget about that. Look, so we just plopped out another villager here. And this is going to look somewhat like Oedipus Rex here, but we can just have this villager. You come out of that and just never mind how this villager was created. Don't think too hard about it. Maybe we'll name the child Antigone or something like that. It's a Greek tragedy joke. Um... <laughs> So funny. Anyway, um, okay, we've got a lot of stones here. Maybe we want to make another house. What if we just created... Let's just create an overwhelming number of villagers here, because why not? Two wood, one stone. I mean, we've got them, right? We've got them. We could do it. No, what did I say I wanted to do? The shed. Yeah, let's do that before we start overwhelming ourselves with villagers. Yeah, we'll do that. You make sticks out of wood. Now, sometimes you work on this, but sometimes you don't. Why don't you do this? If I just put you with one of the woods, there you are. The woods. There we go. So we just pooped out our villagers again. That's nice. A villager. We'll take the berry bush. Good. I'm imagining we could do some sort of fertilizer there. Where's the family gr family tree? Family. Uh, <clears throat> so many, so many immature jokes come to mind. Oh look, we just got out another stick. So let's get one of those sheds going. We need, this is quite a simple invention. Amazing, here we go. Now this is why it pays to be a little bit organized. Let's keep things like that. Oh, can we make them even smaller, boy? No, here we go, we'll stack wood there. You're gonna create a shed, I think for other... Eh, don't put the poop too close to the campfire. <laughs> um, can we put this here? No, I guess we're forced into those contraptions. Now, what is very, like, profitable and will get us a lot of cards? I'm kind of wondering to myself. We'll keep the babies in the house over here. Keep the babies over in the lower left corner. We don't really know what to do with them. We'll put them by the shed. How about that? There we go. There's another shed. Organize those. Man, that E-tip was very good. Oh, I just had a villager idle here for a second. Whoops-a-daisy. This is why it helps to have these infinite resource generators. We could probably get even more of these things and just use them for a profit, because... Well, how else are we going to do it? Yeah, you know, let's do that. So as soon as we get more wood and stone, because I literally have nothing for this villager to do right now. I'm doing better than I have in any of the playthroughs ever before, but we also might run dangerously low on uh, food, so I am wary of that. Um, let's get another lumber camp going here with this villager. We want to consolidate things because we will have to at the end of the moon. Uh, we do have the shed now, though, so that's raising our card count. That's very nice. We also need a pointy stick. Yeah, we ran out of berry bushes. Though we can create more somehow. Wait a second. Oh, whoops. Oh, I just totally messed that up. Why did I do that? That was a big waste. See, now here's where it's a little bit like... Uh, it's kind of a real-time game at the same time. You know, you gotta be smart and have good reflexes. Though you don't really need good reflexes. I think we have the main thing we needed flint for, so I'm just gonna sell that because it's valuable. Uh... What are we gonna wait for now? I'm thinking, what could we get from here? I need soil. We could get soil from here. Now, I'm not really sure what the odds are from these, but we could get a, more berry bushes from these as well. An idea or a key. A key was quite valuable. Yeah, I think since, you know, Humble Beginnings is so cheap and we don't really need any of these super valuable resources yet. I feel like I'm kind of holding myself back though. But it's nice though, because I'm, uh, like, it's nice thinking to do. I don't know. It, these types of games are a little bit awkward to stream, I always find. But they're very fun to play. Which is why I usually will give them maybe one playthrough. However, do we have enough food? Two, four, six, eight. Because each requires one. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Ooh, we are actually down by one food. Oh no. Um, I really don't want to eat this carrot. I can't get rid of someone. Ooh, this is quite bad. Um, mm. I should have seen that a second ago. Humble beginnings. Can I have a berry? I can have a soil. Oh, this is a shiny wood. Now, that's probably good for some reason. But I'm just going to sell it because it's worth five. It's probably extremely valuable and I am horribly neglecting some major thing in the playthrough. But I mean, it's five gold, so I'm going to use it. Uh, I need more berries, like, right now. Let's see if we can just do this somehow. Or can we get food quickly out of one of these? Reap and sow would be nice. But see, like, a little bit of lack of de forward decision-making kind of cost me a lot right here. I was a stupid boy. Um, curious Cuisine is almost definite to contain these things. Yeah, you know, let's just do Curious Cuisine. I shouldn't have done this. I'm going to end up having to eat some of these things, like apple. I'm going to have to use up my apple. What, what a shame to use up my apple. But at least we won't prevent the carrot from being grown in the garden. And the egg is also extremely valuable, so we'll leave that. We have a stew idea. Now, this is more efficient because we can use less to create more. Miss Du Quenti, thank you very much for the prime. And Turby, thank you very much for the prime. And N. Shelties and Luna Corvidae, thank you very much. Hmm. I think I can sell the ideas without consequence, though, because I don't think they're used in things. I'm pretty sure it just goes into my idea rack on the side. Please don't eat this egg. I don't know how to prevent them from eating one food, but not another. But, yeah, they may end up doing that. Are we prepared for the harvest? Or I'm going to call it the harvest. It's the moon. Okay, the babies get fed. Good, the babies are eating berries. Everyone was fed. Did we even... No, we didn't even need to eat the apple. Maybe I counted wrong. What did I do wrong? Oh, hey, hey, you silly goose. You silly goose. Wait a minute. We can put the apple into the soil? I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this probably creates an apple tree. That is fun. Okay, but now we have a carrot just sitting there doing nothing. What do we do with that? The flint, I'm also going to sell. We're just going to sell a lot of this stuff. Um, the egg should be pretty useful, though. What is the egg for? I'm pretty sure it gives us chicken. Yeah, one chicken and one egg creates a chicken, of course. Because when the chicken gets the egg, it's just like, I can clone myself. Um, so I'm pretty sure that is in... Could we create that in... Yes, reap and sow. So reap and sow. So we're going to save up because if we can get that, then we can get some sort of animal domestication going. And you know, we're going to start to see some ROI on these babies we've been raising here. Because we've been waiting very patiently for the babies to grow up. Here we go. We got another lumber camp. So one of the babies can get to work making um, wood amazingly. I'm wondering how I'm going to start to manage these things, though, as it going to become horrible to manage but now we can start to get one worker working on the wood or no you know you just work on the lumber camp you do you man the number of options here is dizzying and amazing we'll keep the stone over there so we got a line of wood and stone like objects could we just plopped out another villager there Mm, this villager can go to work on this wood because then that will create a stick which is obviously more valuable than wood and then we can sell that and then look we've got a house just sitting there <laughs> that house looks like it wants to be work done well, can we get these wood can you work on multiple wood in a stack sir and be joy no, you can create them into planks, so I'm going to need to keep stacking these individually. My goal is to farm sticks for money. You know what I mean? Hey, Opfazonk, thank you very much for the sub. Do appreciate that. Here we are. Do we have enough coins? Change? No. There we are. Wianki, thank you very much for the prime as well. Did I eat part of the apple? Oh, did we eat part of it? Can you actually eat part of it? By golly. By gosh, by uh, something else. <clears throat> I think you're right. I mean, I really sound senile right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a, like another cough uh, moment. 
Ah, there we are. So let's keep getting more of these. I'm gonna focus on the farms and the people because, oh my gosh, we got another chicken. Let's put it with the egg and it does it. It does its taxes with the egg. There we go. That's good. I wonder if even part of the eaten apple can work thus. I don't know. Put the coins with the coins again. What are you, crazy? Of course we can't do that. Oh, let's have this villager create another quarry so that we could do another thing in the quarry. Oh my gosh. Just to see the endless number of options. No, we don't have enough food for these people and they're not building carrots fast enough. So let's we're gonna have to pick some berries out of the bush. There we are. See how dizzying? You could have a whole existential crisis playing this game, and we might need to sell the stone. And you also can't sell your stuff before the harvest, which is dizzying and entropic. You know, we're going to have to hope for some more berry bushes here, people. We might not even have time to work on this wood. Fall right out of the sky. You know? All right, give me more curious cuisine. All right, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, raw meat. Now, this is great because the raw meat can just work on itself. Frittata! Oh my gosh, wow, look at that. What a delicious snack. We don't even have potatoes yet, but we'll leave this. This is how this game, it seems like the ceiling of skill is just so high, and it's one of those games that makes me feel like, wow, I'm so smart for discovering these things, but also, like, maybe I'm an idiot because I have no, I've only just begun to scratch the surface of the number of things that I can create for fun. Okay, will the raw meat cook before time is up? These are the questions no one is asking. The tough questions. Um, uh, kind of, yeah, it's a little bit like, I suppose, is Cultist Simulator? I've played like an hour of Cultist Simulator. Do we have enough food for these people? One for the baby, two for the- Look, he just ate a whole carrot when that was unnecessary. Alright, we just got into huge trouble because that was bad. Uh, they ate the apple that was in the soil, so we couldn't get the apple tree out of it. We may have lost. We may have lost. Although, you know, I went for a population boom kind of early on. Knowing that it might get me killed. But I took that risk, and I don't really regret it, because all, all of our previous playthroughs, we just didn't have enough to challenge the many wild animals and creatures that were around. But we do need to focus on food now. So we're going to have to send everyone into the salt mines to make more wood and stone. And then we're just going to straight up sell those things, probably against our better judgment. Because we are running out of food as it is right now. Give me food, please. Oh, there we go. I thought I made coins out of coins, but I accidentally just did that wrong. My gosh, it's just so pleasurable to do this. Can we put the carrot into the soil? Now, what does that create? Like, an... or does it just work more inefficiently than the garden? Well, let's see. 177 seconds from that, but, well, I guess 180 seconds. Uh, the milk, I think we can create a milkshake with if we get a berry back. If that day ever comes to pass. Cooking it does seem to be overpowered, I agree. Okay, we've got a stove, a brick, iron bar, flint, and a villager. Cooks faster than a campfire. That could be useful. I'm going to leave that idea over to the side because I want to know it. Uh, basic, do we... Does it give us only... I thought that I could... Wait a second, let's just search now. Stove. Oh, it does show me it. So then how come I didn't see it there? You do get rumors, too. Still, resources. No. Huh, this is kind of funny. So it doesn't actually show it in the... Oh, no, there it is. Stove. Never mind. Cooks faster than a campfire. Yeah, so we should probably save up for a stove because this campfire has been really slow. And, you know, I guess we'll start to domesticate our animals. Yes, the milk and the berry for the milkshake will be also be quite useful. Permanent portal to the dark forest. Yeah, we can also create a portal to a dungeon. I didn't really mention this. Okay, but let's put in a carrot. How fast does that grow? So 135 seconds versus 180 seconds between soil and garden. So the garden is clearly more efficient here. Um, do we have time to get this ready? Me thinks, let's just create another garden if we can, if we have time. But again, the moons are starting to speed up, and I'm going crazy with all the number of possibilities that we could do. You know, and this is that type of game. Like, I'm too afraid to put more villagers in doing something. 
I think we have to make another quarry here. So we'll do that. We got cooked meat that's going to feed more people, probably. Chicken is brooding. Oh, it even gives text to say what it's doing. We're going to have way too many mouths to feed now, though. Uh, what do we need for the uh, garden? We need soil, stone, wood. Oh, my God. We're not going to ever get that much stuff. We need to get another quarry because we need too many resources here. I think I'm also... I'm. You know, I might just do more humble beginnings packs because we need short-term food. Yeah, there we go. Berry okay, there we go. Berry bushes. That's going to get us fed because we still haven't created civilization yet. I mean, look at me. I'm obsessing over a bunch of cards to create humanity. This is, There's nothing more pleasurable than this. This is what I love about these games that work in abstractions. Thus, Okay, what happens if I put a house on top of another house? Oh my god, it doesn't do anything. There are some things, though, that I think should have a meaning. What did I put that villager to work doing? Okay, so you're creating a quarry. Adolescent child immediately going to work creating a quarry. Realism, 10 out of 10. Cooked meat. Now, at this point, I'm sure the chat will start to see things that I am not seeing here. Two, uh, soil, two stone, two wood and villager. Oh, wait a second, garden. Oh, no, I didn't need a stick at all. I thought I did. Never mind. But you can see the ratio of wood to stone is just so alarmingly crazy. How, do these produce... So, 15 seconds for this. And it seems to be 15 seconds for this. But now we've got a second quarry. Okay, so we've got four people who are working their butts off over here. But good, that short-term decision of getting more berries from a berry bush was a good one. Now what happened with the, uh... What happened with the chicken? So we got another chicken out of the chicken. This is useful. How do we get the two chickens... Wait a minute. How do we create an egg? Oh, we need a nest. Do we need a nest? Okay, that's an idea that I simply haven't unlocked yet. So, I wanted to domesticate the chickens and have them, you know, do their taxes together. However, that being said, I have not actually unlocked that idea yet. So, where do I unlock that idea? I'm pretty sure it's in Seeking Wisdom, because that's the packs you go to in order to unlock these recipes in the first place. Now, keep in mind, I didn't have all of these recipes unlocked when I first played this game. However, um, I unlocked them gradually as I played. And they do their persistent playthrough to playthrough, so they, they carry on. But let's go ahead and just sell some of this wood, because we clearly don't need all this right now. And I would like both ideas. Is there a chance for me to get food from these things? Berry bushes, which are essentially a very quick, short-term form of food. Um, I think I want to create a milkshake as well. Just because that seems like a faster way to do this. I don't see any immediate need for milk, so let's go ahead into Seeking Wisdom to just get more ideas. Um, or maybe we have all of the ideas. Uh, can I get some ideas from the other packs as, w packs as well? I mean, not packs. I've never made a pact, of course. We could get more undiscovered cards. There's so much. Anyway, the reason I didn't go too far with this is should... they just sort of poop them out. Oh, wait a minute. Poop? What is the poop for? Oh, you are commenting on the fact that I got poop here. Poop can be useful, guys. Poop can be useful. Do I get rewards from quests? So, like, if I beat the dungeon boss? Yeah, there's, like, an evil witch. Spoiler alert. Well, I already said it. It's not that secret, though. Um, yeah, but there's an evil witch who has a dungeon. Well, let's get a little bit more into combat. Um, I mean, like, I've been, ex I've been highly productive because, after all, I'm, I'm so great. But let's go, let's go ahead and uh, flint. Okay, we'll keep that around because obviously the stove would be wild. Where is the stove again? That was under building. Iron bar. So how do we create an iron bar? Do we know how to create that yet? No, we don't know how to create it yet. Okay, so we'll leave that around for a little while. Flint. What else did we need? Hmm. No. Stove. There we are. Uh, brick, flint, iron, bar. so a lot of these are processed resources, we'll just leave that there. But we are, uh, you know, maybe I won't though, because I'm going to need to get rid of stuff, because I simply don't have enough storage space right now, too. I simply don't have enough. We're going to need more sheds, guys, I'm sorry. Like, if we want to persistently keep all of these foods from day to day. I am sorry. 
We may even need more villagers to do all this, and then we need to feed more of them. Because just look at how many cards we have. We're going to need to kill some of these chickens as well, pro uh, probably. Let's just create- well, this is gonna be against my better judgment, but let's do this. Look, we've got copious food now. Copious food. Humble beginnings will leave. We'll see if we can get any more seeking wisdom. These chickens moving around is giving me is slightly unnerving. Um, Happy New Year, Mr. Ah. Ah. Alyssa, thank you very much for the four months. You appreciate that. Hmm. Why can't they have a baby in the shed? I'm not even going to check. Do we have enough food? Okay, the milkshake is just so powerful. If only we had a cow, that could be so much food. These chickens are right now useless to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to spring for some more ideas, guys. You know, just se sell most... Whoops, I didn't mean to put it there. Let's sell it. There we go. The milkshake is no added food. Wait, the milkshake is so much food, right? Oh, wait, no, it's five. Oh, you're right. That is unfortunate. Well, it's very valuable. It's very valuable, and it's a milkshake. Maybe it's not that good at all. Uh, I mean, it's expensive, so... Maybe making milkshakes is a good source of money, though, because that is worth five coins, and that's... Mostly valuable. watch on YouTube. Love the videos. Hey, the drizzle. Thank you very much for the two months. Well, let's just make sure we've got enough to feed. Um, two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven. So we'll need eleven. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we do actually have enough to feed everybody here. Um, when we get some more berries, I think we'll have enough with the milkshake. Okay, yeah, give me five coins. All right, at this point, it seems like it would be nice to have a coin chest. Two, what is it? One coin and two wood. How much? I, I can't even think of something to say here. Here we go. Give me a chest. There we are. And now... Maybe because I still have question marks over Curious Cuisine, maybe that means that there's still undiscovered ideas in it. So let's go over there. I honestly don't know. Let's just keep doing this. But half of the joy is in discovery in this game, so we'll just keep doing that way. Um, hmm, quarry, quarry, we'll put the quarry. I want to keep this section organized, but then we'll also do... Nope, my money is in the wrong spot. There we are. Good, we'll keep the rocks over there. That E trick really did help. Thank you for that. I would like to get that stove, but getting this stuff cooking would be nice as well. I mean, we can't eat the raw meat, but that's too food for everything. Sunrise music, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, you can see it on top of the screen, so I don't actually even need to count it all the time. Uh, I currently have 15. Yes, but also I want to count for the food that's in the ground. Because I don't want to make them eat something that's been in the garden for so long, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to leave that idea around. Good. But please don't eat that potato. Sometimes they will accidentally feed too much food to the baby, I've also noticed. Like, they'll give the baby a carrot. No, the baby can't eat it. I mean... Not only can it not chew a carrot, probably, but also, like, you know, why do that? I'm going to put the stove away because we have it saved in our log now. Now four cards too many. Now here's where the agonizing decision-making takes place because I simply didn't do this right at this point in time. The potato... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm very upset that we have to sell the potato, but yes, we, like, we're going to have to do that because these carrots, I've put so much work into them. I guess we'll just take away the rocks and the tree. I mean, they are a source of money, but at the same time, I've got unlimited money and I don't want to put all the resources into the other stuff. And I want to keep the chickens around too. I, if, I want too much. Uh, let's get sheds and gardens. That would be good. Yes. I do say. So we've got a coin chest now. The baby seems to be moving around in the house. There we go. One of the villagers were just moving around in there. Um, let's put the wood here. We do want to create a stack so I don't have to keep organizing that. We'll leave the chickens there because they'll be useful eventually. They'll just kind of be moving around down there. It's a little discomforting, but uh, I mean, whatever. Uh, you can work on the wood because we've got to work on something. We want to get gardens and sheds, I think, because we need to get our plants automated, you know? Plants, cooking, and growth in general. We'll sell the flint again for now, because this is very valuable. 
There we are. You are doing nothing right now. Well, we'll give you something to do. So, uh, if we want to do more gardens, we're going to need, what is it again? Two stone, two wood, a villager, and the soil. So, we're going to need more packs of soil. I want to let this one carrot work in here. So, let's buy a bunch of packs of... Um, I'm thinking that reap and sow sounds like a pretty good way to get soil. I'm not honestly sure if it gives me better odds, but I figure if it's the farming place... Well, we'll do seeking wisdom too, see if we can get some more ideas. Um, I'll put these down here. Um, I wish there were a better place for me to do this. Although organizing the cards may seem horribly infuriating, it slightly is, but, but at the same time, I think uh, it is very satisfying as well. So I like the way that they did it. Um, rocks over here. Although I do sometimes wish I had a little bit more board space, but maybe that's supposed to be part of the challenge. You can work on those, and then we could actually kill one of these chickens because we clearly don't need this many chickens around. Um, no, put the stone over there, put the stone over there. I mean, just look at this. This is disgusting. You get to work on that. You probably won't die. It's just a chicken. And then after that, we'll get to work on this. Man, look at how many carrots we've got. Wait a minute, how did you just lay an egg? Whoa, this was not authorized. Hey, that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. That's amazing. Wow, the chicken just plopped out another egg. Just without us even asking it to. Look at that. Now it's going to do something with its own egg. Oh my gosh, and then it's going to create it. Did you know that chickens in this game are like they can basically bud? Or what do they call it? Asexual reproduction. Yes. Well, look, it can do something to its own egg that it's basically just cloning itself as as we know in real life chickens do from time to time if you've never seen this a chicken sometimes just clones itself it's a very rare instant to observe but when you do the beauty of nature is um is is on display for all to see so there we are that's amazing that's amazing don't guys do, this is science don't <laughs> Don't, um, don't try to play it down. That's the way it works. All right, there we are. Um, eh, the garden, the soil is almost done. Let's get ready to create a, another garden here. We're going to get the two stone, the two wood, and we'll get ready for that soil. It's interesting that there's multiple ways to create things in this game, though, too. Seven seconds on that. Um, it's interesting that we could create flint out of the quarry, too. I don't believe that that was mentioned to me in the description. We've got so many carrots, and that's exciting. Okay, we don't want to, like, come off of these berry bushes too fast. You can stop working in the quarries. Let's have somebody else work on the berry bushes. And honestly, we've got cooked meat over here that's worth a lot. Oh, can I put everything into the coin chest? So then, how does that work? So then we just... Do I just put the coin chest onto something? Oh, that's quite useful. So, say that I wanted to do more humble beginnings. Okay, we can do that. You know, I would really like it to not come right back down off to the top row, though. Because, like, ah, m my cards were all organized. And then, truly, that letter E thing did really help me. Thank you for that. Yes. Well, it's fortunate the coin chest can just do that. But look, every time that I have to buy something, and I'm going to keep putting it in multiple places. I don't want to just keep my entire top row empty. That would be crazy. Okay, we've got a rat here. So let's just observe the rat for a moment. Because it's red. And red is, generally speaking, like a bad color. Like a color of evil and wrongdoing here. Let's organize our rocks. No game has made me feel like a child. Like, I remember when you were a kid and you would play with rocks? So what does the rat do? Is it going to fight our chickens? I mean, it's just going to mess stuff up. It kind of goes around and, like, causes pain and annoyance. Look, it's, it just messes things up. So, I mean, we could have a guy go in there and fight the rat, but I think I want to make a guy even more powerful. So let's go ahead and leave the lumber camp. You know, I'm sick of this. I'm going to create... Uh, actually, it would be easy to create a magic wand. No, let's just do a... Uh, let's do a spear. That is quite a good basic weapon. So let's get two wood out. We'll have two... Vi uh, uh, here we go. We're working on the wood. 
You're up to no good, rad. Oh, it does just randomly fight our villagers. Okay, so I did not know this, that it actually can spawn fights with your villagers. Cool to know. Fortunately, it is a very low-level monster. So, like, you know, very easy to fight this thing. We do get raw meat back from it, so it can be helpful. But yeah, we should be ready for that in the future. Let's go ahead and get some sticks ready so that we could fight it. Um... Here we go. Rat meat. Yes. Very good meat. But I couldn't move the rat and I can move this. Here we go. So we've got another garden. Um, amazing. We could plant the meat, guys. Now you can try some of these crazy combos. I, I don't think any of them will work for you at all. But, you know, it is what it is. So if we pick berries over here, we should probably have our gardens kind of close by so that they'll plop out carrots onto that. Um, this villager can also work in the quarry, I suppose. And then we'll start to get ready for a spear, which we need one wood and two sticks for, so we can do this. Oh, it just builds itself, because of course, if you just throw sticks and wood down onto the ground, a spear appears. Automatically. Oh, we forgot sheds, and it's time for the new moon. Um, I have been very smooth-brained here. Darn, I wish I had thought of that. Okay, what was the shed again? But we did do... We took care of the food, and that was the main thing. Well, uh, well wood, stone, and stick. So let's create more of those. I don't think we're going to get it in time, though. All right. Um, look, that chicken made another egg. Feed the villagers. Feed the people. Feed the people. Feed the people. Look, we don't even need to uproot any of our crops. Everyone is fed. Oh my god, we need to sell 31 cards. We'll just do this again, and that's a big source of money. There we go, put all that in the coin chest. That is very helpful. 15 cards too many. I hate to say it, but I think we're going to have to sell the poop. Do we have any cooked meat that we could sell to? Not really. I don't really want to sell my food, because food is, food is getting to be kind of hard to come by. So I'm thinking... It's a real shame that we couldn't do that the right way. I'm trying to tell if it's limiting the number of cards I can sell, too. We can't just kill the chicken, either, so you do start to have to destroy your own resources. We could sell the two of the quarries, because I'm finding that this is a big money maker. You know, I really think I messed up here. We clearly won't have enough food for the next time. Um... I hate to say this, we're just going to have to sell all of these perfectly good rocks in this tree. I can, I, can I sell a villager? I might be able to. I really don't want to, though, because think of all the effort it takes to make a villager. Um, I might not need this many chickens, though. I mean, it's only one. Let's just do this, because we'll get another guy. We'll sell a berry. We'll sell a berry bush. I want to keep all the stuff that it took me so much work to get, you know? Okay, I'll sell one lumber. No, that's going to be very expensive. Could I sell a baby? Carrots? Okay, I'll sell the carrots because I'm... Can we sell the... No, we can't sell the baby. Well, we've confirmed it. Nah, you know, I already messed up. All right, let's just leave a baby out in the open. I told you I wouldn't make very good decisions. The truth is that, yeah, if I were playing this game on my own, I'd probably be much more concentrated. However, uh, you do kind of get the streamer blindness here. Uh, the wood and the... Man, I really should have done this differently. You know, I'm going to take the short-term gratification, though. I'm going to sell a lumber camp, and I'm going to sell a quarry. Because we can always just easily create more of them. And then sell... Oh, if only I could sell a villager here. You know, we'll sell a wood because we can easily get back another one. Now, a strange portal has come out of nowhere. Um, you know, we can always get back one of those. Uh-oh, start a new moon. Oh, I think it just did that for the strange portal. Okay, the strange portal is weird. We can go into it, but I'm not going to, because it's going to kill whoever goes in. I don't honestly know what happens if we just leave it there. Um, there we go. You've created another stick. Wow, good for you. We're going to need another one of those things. We're just going to need another shed. What happens? Does something come out of you? 
We have 40 coins now, too. I should probably address this. I'm just so curious about the strange portal. Okay, something crazy came out of it. A goblin archer. This is why we needed a spear. He's going to start fighting my people. Okay, let's put these three useless people into war with him because we could probably afford to lose these people now. I was hoping we'd be able to create a spear from this. However, he's look, he's getting closer. I wonder if he will do damage to our crops. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's coming closer. He's coming to attack the quarry. No, put the quarry over here. This is such a bizarre game. It's it's kind of like inscription here too. Now here we go. So we're gonna create a militia here. Good. So there we go. Um, let's have the two villagers and our militia who has now been armed with a spear. Oh my gosh, they take up the entire combat space there too. So it just messes with your card order. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, we do have a lot of money now. We could just buy stuff. Um. Okay, melee versus range, too. The melee is... What, the melee is very effective. Okay, so good. We're good against the goblin archer. Look, we've got all these chickens just running around as well. Some people are probably going to starve here as well. Oh, my God. Really, the number of decisions is agonizing. Okay, let's create another. We gotta make up for all the stuff that we lost. Now, I know I've kind of screwed myself here. Like, I, I think we could have done a way better game. But I'm just gonna keep playing because honestly, I think that this is the way this game is most fun to play. Like, even if it's not a very good way to play it. Um, no, actually, I don't want you to fight your own chicken. Hang on a second. Ah, coin chest, shed. We said we needed more sheds. We got a leather tunic from him too. So let's go ahead and give that to our militia. So now our militia is very well equipped. I just got an achievement called the Dripped Out. There's a lot of achievements in this game as well. It's quite nice. Um, wood, stone. We'll put everything back in its normal place. But now look at how many idle villagers we've got. Um, go to Humble Beginnings. Just hopefully we'll get some quick berry bushes. Nope. Okay, get more Humble Beginnings. Nope. Just more stone and stuff. Maybe I should keep this entire top rack clear now that I've looked at it. Yeah, that might be a better way to do it. Let's just move all of our cards down. It's fun, though. Like, I, I hope you guys have at least been able to see, because I figure that this will be the only video that we do on this. Just every kind of playthrough, you're getting a little bit better at everything, at organizing your cards and so on and so forth. And, like, it makes you into a bit of a better player, but it also drives you insane in a good way. I suppose that's what it feels like to play this game. Being driven insane in a good way. And I think that's a pretty good review of a, of a game. Um, wood, stone, stick. So we need another stick. Let's have you work on that. And I'm going to need yet even more sheds because I really don't want to sell that many cards. This is the consequence, though, of me being an idiot. Uh, and, like, population booming before I was ready to store stuff. Yeah, here we go. Shed time. Okay, to kill more of these rampant chickens because they're crazy. Here we go, get more gardens going. And these chickens just roam around. I wonder if there's a way to like fence them in. Good, we got more bones. At least it's valuable. I mean, maybe I would have preferred the chicken's life. We'll leave one chicken alive. And this baby is just waiting to be raised. <laughs> that may be my favorite mechanic at play here. Okay, we'll do the stick, the wood, the stone, and the villager. Now you're gonna create one, and you're gonna create another one. That gives us two sheds, thank God. Now the militia it can also be used as a villager, per normal, you know. Um, but I don't think we will, I, or I, I think we'll just use him for, excuse me. Ah, the cold has got the best of me. Here, okay, here we go now. Uh, we're gonna need to buy some food. Buy me a lot of food. Onions, rocks, berries. Berry bushes. Okay, here we go. Berry bushes. Uh, I guess we could put plant more berries into the gardens, too, to get more berry bushes. Or could we... Or maybe we need soil directly. I don't honestly know. Maybe we'll just leave one of these, too, because this was starting to drive me a little insane, having this many things here. Put that meat on the campfire. Good, the onion... Uh, I don't even know what to do with this much food. 
And these are quite valuable, so we will sell them. Although, do we have enough food to feed people here? I'm assuming that we just need to use these to start to create bigger dishes that are going to feed more people proportionally. The militia will be picking berries in the bush. Mm, stick. Why, why do we have a stick here? Sell. Do I have the recipe for the best food? I really, you know, at this point, we, sh we should just be making better food, I think. But we aren't. Let's get more sheds ready so that we don't have to think about that at all. Um, no, we're getting a little too close to the moon, and I don't think we're going to have time. Um, so I'm kind of managing where your villagers go from moon to moon. This seems to be another mechanic at play here. Now let's just make sure we have enough food. We've got 12 out of 12. However, that means that they're going to be eating the carrots that are in the ground right now. This is not sitting right with me. So let's go ahead and just put the coin chest toward... Give me more of that curious cuisine. Unfortunately, it's just a berry. Okay, I probably would have been better off with some basic stuff here, but we also might have gotten valueless cards from Humble Beginnings. You know, give me yet even more of these. Come on, give me... Okay, here we go. We got milk. Maybe we could create a quick milkshake. Will that... Will we have enough time for that? Whoops, there we go. Put that there. Okay, that does get made rather fast, so I think we might be in luck there. Yeah, maybe this was the right idea. Maybe that was too many quarries and lumber camps. The chicken's just over there living its best life. So how do we get a cow? How do we get a cow? Rabbit, cow, we could get a cow from Reap and Sow, so maybe we'll just sell more of these basic resources. I feel like I could be putting these to better use, but for right now, give me a cow. Show me the cow. Now, unfortunately, no cow again. Wow. How sad. Berry bushes over here. The milkshake, uh, again, the milkshake is very valuable, but not like, mm. Coin chest. Now, I know that, uh, I suppose that a lot of my narration may make this game sound extremely frustrating and hazardous to play. Oh no, they just had the milkshake and that was more valuable than it was for food. That being said though, I mean, I'm kind of trying to optimize and it reminds me of playing again. I'm gonna kind of compare to the game Agricola because I just think Agricola is such a good game. And I've played it with some of my friends who are very smart. But since I know the strategies and the content of later on in the game, it makes it like I can optimize the game. However, I don't think you need to optimize here. But it looks like we have enough stuff for another garden now. Yeah, all right. I think I'm going to just... Oh, here we go. Another person has been uh, alived. <sighs> what do we do here? Can you just sit in the soil and do something? No, you can't. That was quite unfortunate. Yes, do, I mean, does the milkshake bring the boys to the yard? Maybe some of the boys to the yard, but perhaps not all of the boys to the yard. As in the classic song, you know. My milkshake brings the boys to the yard. Although I don't remember, what was that the full title? I don't, I think that would have been a bit too much to put in the title. Was it Kellis who sang that? Kellis? He was a very good uh, singer. I, I, I enjoy <laughs> Actually, I actually listened to a couple of other songs. Uh, there was, well, most <laughs> some of them I'm not allowed to say. Uh, or I would blush to say, you know, but they were, they were music. <laughs> they were music. When I was a kid, I remember I saw that video. I, di I didn't understand. I was like, that's amazing, you know. You must be a great cook, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that was, that was the way the childhood was. Okay, we've got raw meat for the campfire again. A lot of these things are just more valuable to trade, though, and I'm finding that it's so efficient to just get berries out of the bush. We just got a guy here doing nothing. Man, he could be working on something. Why don't you work on a stick to make more sheds? I, I'm comfortable, finally, with the number of sheds that we have in this world. And, you know, I think it might be time for another quarry. Contrary to my formerly bad judgment. All right, how do we get another one of those good gardens? 
Although there are, it is kind of an overwhelming number of recipes. Here we are. Uh, oh, we don't need a stick. Yeah, so we'll just get another one of those things going. And another wood. Once we get that, then we can put this boy onto that. I, I like the fact that you can stack things in practically any order. Although I do think that the item on top gets some sort of like acting on thing. Because I've tried to put a, a villager on a spear and it doesn't work. But if we put the spear on the villager, then it works. What happens if I... Oh my gosh, I was totally wrong. It does work. The villager can just be sandwiched in there. And he's making a garden somehow. This is an amazing fact. Look, okay, wait a minute. No, don't get off of that flint. What are you doing on that? Here we are. Yeah, we've got an... Oh, thank you. We've got the idle militia. Yes, I missed that. Uh, we need more things for people to work on. Please, people. I think one house was the right move. Stone, stick, wood, and villager. And then let's put you toward humble beginnings because the only thing I can really think of you doing... Okay, fight that wabbit. There we are. Oh no, please make room for this rock. There we are. Flint. I want the flint for something, but maybe it's not time yet. Death to a rabbit brings a carrot. Okay, that's sensible. Um, I wonder if we could just put poop into the garden and then that would make it, you know, more gardeny. Go. Can't help but pause every few seconds. I find that as a streamer, is that somewhat obnoxious? Like, I don't want to play badly. But I also don't want to just let everyone die. But I want to keep the action going, too. And I also sometimes feel like you've got the gist of it, and I'm probably not going to break any records. But let's go for the record here, maybe. So we've got a good number of sheds. We've got a goodly number of, well, all of that other stuff. Um, let's get our farming situation really solid. I feel like it's getting there. We're almost there. But um, maybe we could start to relax now and and just um, explore the many possibilities of what perhaps lay in the future. Because it doesn't seem like there are evil monsters coming out of the portal. Like, we had that goblin come out a few minutes ago. But maybe I could put the villagers together. We might have to create another house at this point. I I'm finding myself oddly limited by the amount of board space, though. I didn't think that this would happen. I can't tell if I'm just horribly inefficient with it or what. But what happens if we do explorers? Let's do something crazy and far ahead. That's 20. Yeah, let's just do this. Maybe against my better judgment. Let's find out what's in a far later pack. Oh my gosh, that we aren't even ready for that. Uh, whoa, this is crazy. I don't know that this existed in the game, but I suppose that this gives me something to do with all of my idle villagers. You will all fight the giant rat. Okay, I hopefully most of you will survive. How many villagers can we put into combat with this giant rat? You know, just everyone get off of your tasks. That thing is huge. What the hell is this? This game is just so funny, too. Like, even without trying to be funny, this is a silly game. Sheds. Wait, sheds make the board bigger? Oh, I didn't notice that. Maybe you're right. Maybe the... Wait a minute. Is it making the board physically larger and I'm just not even noticing it? Whoa, I'm... Whoa. I mean, I know a lot of us are probably dead. Wait a second, I didn't know that about the sheds. I would have gotten more sheds by this point. This means that this is so interesting, this game. The mo this is why I wanted to discover this on stream. Okay. Take him down. Take him down. This is huge. This is like Final Fantasy. Please don't kill my militia. We'll give you carrots if you don't... He is powerful. Uh, at least we are able to fight him because I was afraid he would just block everything. He knows who to go after, though. He knows that the militia is the most dangerous. It's a good thing I put all of the villagers... We may lose one. Oh, no. Wait a second. Can I get you out of there, sir? Yes, I can get him out. He's barely alive. <laughs> this is so... This is so silly. I really like this. He's like... He's ah. <laughs> barely alive. He barely made it. Fortunately, I could get him out of the hot uh, zone. There we are. Wooden shield. So can you... Wait a second. Can I put this on you? You have the armor. You have that. Oh, no. He, he has to pick either the tunic or something like that. What is this? What is going on here? 
So is that just something that you're wearing? Or maybe I need to do that with a militia in order to not get that, like, hello face thing. Well, regardless, I'm going to need a way bigger board to manage all of this. And I have no idea what the, um... Hang on a second. Work on that mountain. That's crazy. He could just destroy a mountain with his hands. <sighs> oh my gosh. This game just keeps getting better and better. This is why I love playing a game when I still don't feel like I fully understand it, you know? Because then you just discover things and it does kind of speak to how amazing the game is. Um, in the meantime, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I just need more board space. Let's go ahead and just create a lot of storage sheds. Because not only does it give us more cards, but yeah, that would have been nice to know. And I'm happy that we found that. And also you can work on that egg. Um, you can work on, here we go, lumber camp. You work on the quarry, you work on that. Uh, no, I don't need that. I need... What are you doing over there? Oh, it's a rock. I'm sorry, I was thinking that it was, it's, it was a boulder. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, no, I was thinking that it was a stone. Never mind. It's like, what is this new power that has been afforded to my villagers? Incredible. Yeah, working towards logic and reason. Uh, logic and reason. Probably we should do the preliminary things first because that was way overwhelming. But I wanted to give myself something overwhelming because it's fun to see what's, you know, on the horizon in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. 41, 40. Current maximum amount of cards is 40. So we're getting close to the end of the moon. We really don't have enough food. It is now beginning to occur to me again. Let's just keep on getting... I know I keep going short term, but we need these berry bushes. Oh, look. No berry bushes again. No, I need sticks. I need sticks for more sheds. Even if I were to lose a few people, I'm not saying that I want to, but I'm saying that even if I were to, that might just be for the best. Um, Can we get any more food from these things too? Yeah, we're just low on food. Uh, okay, start to sell some of these things off. I'll make another garden. Oh, I just said I was gonna make a shed and then I didn't even make a shed. Well, we do need the gardens, too, anyway. Okay, give me Seeking Wisdom. Maybe that gives me a better chance. Ah, Berry Bush. There was never a more splendid sight for man. Three of them, too. That will feed us all. See, one pack of cards got us so many Berry Bushes. Here we go. Work on that. Work on that, sir. Oh, no, now suddenly I need someone for the quarry. It's just, it constant, this... This game constantly keeps the mind engaged. You can't not be interested in what's going on. It's such a perfect game designer. That's why I think it's brilliant. It's so amazing. Order and structure pack is now available. Now that looks a very valuable. Someone may starve here because I did not prepare for this. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about the villager in the tunic doing nothing. Oh, that was unfortunate. We may have to eat the food that's being farmed. Oops. Two village... Okay, now we're going to lose a guy. So, yeah. Like, we're probably going to die horribly for that. And moon 15, I bet... I mean, you know, five is the most even odd number, so we're bound to encounter something horrible now. Do we just have the corpses lying around? Okay, what happens when we put two corpses together? Creating graveyard. This is interesting. Well, let's cook an egg. No, we apparently we can't cook an egg. We have no food left and we ruined all of our gardening. This is horrible. Okay, let's just do berries because I've had such great luck with these berries. Wood stick. Now I just have so much stuff that it isn't even being done. All of my people are dying. But look, a new baby popped out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we could make more people. Graveyard. Oh, a graveyard. Oh, and then we could do something cute with the graveyard. I didn't even plan on that. That's adorable. It is a cute game. It is downright cute. A mountain amulet. It grounds you. Man, there's so much magic in this. Going, moving forward, moving forward. A G rave? Like, mm, celebrate your life. Don't mourn my death. Celebrate my life. At the rave yard. <laughs> uh, man, it's so hard to find a, a tasteful, punny joke about death like that. That really is quite good. 
Let's just, just give me more berry bushes. Let's find out what we get. Or maybe we get more berries. Yeah, growing a berry bush. Okay, I'm okay with that. I mean, look at how quickly he gets through these berry bushes. They're just so reliable. So downright reliable. I'll take more of this. Yes, give me more of these sheds. This is the entire meaning of my life at this point. Where did that berry... Uh, oh, sorry. Sometimes a rabbit can just come out of a bush, as they do. Oh, and you see how the borders are expanding. Now, yes, I am beginning to understand. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> this is nice. Hmm. Okay, we got another chicken. I think it's time to kill the animals. Stone stick and wood. You work on that. It's just ama like it makes you want to just pause and appreciate everything that's going on. And I truly regret that I can't because I feel like if I if I don't pause for one second, I might be missing something valuable and important that's going on. Look, a rabbit hat. Oh, we created an adorable villager. Oh, we can just do that without him going. Okay, so then that's fine. Let's just do it that way. I think it might be time to reproduce some villagers soon, too, because that should be okay. Let me X out some of these things. It's getting a little distracting. We've got... Where did the catacombs come from? Oh, it's like exploring the catacombs. Some of these things are requiring more long-term planning, too. Like, it's a, it's a big investment to put a villager going through one of these purple areas, you know? Ah, more shed is happening. That's good. Good, you work on that. Um, you work on the... So, good. So, you can get a militia and a villager working together, doing their taxes. And that's very nice. Keep working on the graveyard, because we might as well see that through. Um, what else? I think we'll do one more of these. You work on the stick here. And then we'll get another shed going, just because I'm liking having this much more boards. Look at all the board space we have now, guys. That's nice. Hey, Andrew, what's up, brother? The gardens, yeah, I know my gardens. Everyone's going to die now, though. I just haven't even been paying attention to food. Okay. At this point in time, I would like to say, it's been nice knowing you. Wait a minute, did they really- I thought that the eggs- I was just kind of eyeballing it. Did he need three or did he need two? Okay, I'm just going to give up at this point because I clearly have thrown the entire game. We should have built more sheds earlier and that would have been okay. Like, we would have been safe. But at this point, I'm just going to throw the game because I don't think there's much coming back. So what comes out of the strange portal? Because this seems to be the source of pressure in the game along with the occasional giant. So it really is a slow paced game. I will say that. I expected this game to be more fast paced and oh my gosh, look, they're making, the, let's just get, take me. There we are. Take me. Oh my gosh, even multiple enemies can get involved in, this is crazy. You could have a giant war going on like Songs of Six. To be fair, a little bit I threw the game, but I was also just sort of like, I feel as though a game like this is more worthwhile for an introduction of maybe an hour and a half to two hours max. Um, though it does seem that this is the type of game that could be played over the course of like three to five hours, if not even more, and you could have a whole campaign. Although I do find it hard to pay attention to what's going on after hours. Like you do tend to go crazy and it can get overwhelming. Although like if you enjoyed Cultist Simulator, I do believe that that game has a lot of menus. Or like um, cards on the table, but yeah, kind of it tests your uh, like ability to be a multitasker slash air traffic controller. It starts to feel like. Um, that being said, I think this is one of the most aesthetically beautiful games we've checked out. But yeah, six new quests completed and seventeen new cards found. So that does help us in the future, and we can kind of plan ahead for future stuff. <laughs>